Now from T-Mobile Park in Seattle. Chris Flexen is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mariners. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matty D, we're getting a chance to watch a guy that's been struggling a little bit lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.40. So he's going to have to cut that down, limit the amount of base runners, limit the amount of walks if he wants to have some success in this one here today. Alex Verdugo digging in now. And he enters play today, currently fifth in the American League in hitting. Pulls this one high and deep to right center field. Henniger is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. Up to the plate now is David Ortiz. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Sent out to straightaway center field. Lewis is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Here's J.D. Martinez, and as the season nears an end, he currently leads the league and runs batted in. You know, his last 10 games, Dero, he's averaging over an RBI a game, so if he keeps this up, he might very well win that title. Yeah, bottom line for the pitcher today, if he wants to keep this guy from driving in any more runs, he's got to get the guys out in front of him. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. And with his speed, forget it. It's an infield single. Zero. Here's the pitch. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Hard hit toward the hole, and that's through into left field for a base hit. And the run is in to score from second. It's a 2 nothing ball game. Hey, one of the things you want to do, Dior, is strike that early, is and they've done just it's that with a big hit driving in, too. Yeah, Dan, great to grab an early lead right there, especially when you can throw up a crooked number for your pitcher. And a pitch oh, out, nothing no doing, though, and that's ball one. The 1-0. -oh. Hit hard towards the hole, and that's through for a hit. Yeah, batting averages are much better one and on account than they are when the count is even. They opted to go with a pitch out to lead off the at bat, and it obviously cost them no real damage done yet, but now they've even got a tougher situation to deal with. That's a strike to throw down. Not in time, and how about that for Daring? It's a two out double steal. Ready with the 0 and 1. Back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. The second run will score. It's now a 4 nothing game. Boy, talking about having ducks on the pond right there, d -Rose. I know everybody wants to hit a home run. Those are the ones you remember. But without question, Dan, two out, two RBI knocks with runners in scoring position right there. You remember these knocks. Vasquez rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's safe at the plate as they extend the lead to 5-zip. It's only the first inning, so you hate to say this, but this thing might already be over. Down five in the first. They've got to get the car back onto the road, even if the wheels are a little loose and wobbly. Kendall Graveman comes on to work much earlier than anticipated, obviously, as he'll try and right the ship in the very first inning. Marmolejos is there, and he puts it away to stop the... Martin Perez will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? This guy is a strikeout pitcher. Deluxe has over 250 strikeouts on the season. And if he brings his A game, look for a lot of punch outs in this game here. Now the 0-2 pitch. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. First delivery to him. J.P. Crawford is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Crawford is a strong defender playing up the middle in the infield. He's got great hands, good range, the big arm, and those skills are not lost on his teammates. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. Betts is back to the track as he takes it for out number two. First offering. Kyle Lewis is in with two away as he takes a ball one and zero. Oh. 
And it's fouled away. Man, you don't see this in today's game that much. A guy who's willing to work east-west nope. consistently inside. with a great cutter two-seamer combo. Oh, and not an easy pitch three. to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Oh, and a good job Next there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. That is cool. Fouled off. The right field. Lewis, the runner at first Had with two gone. And he powers a cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now, nothing in two. Lifted down the line and left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And the cutter got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Mookie Betts. He'll lead things off as they look to perhaps build on an already sizable lead. Oh, my. This ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? Over the bullpen and gone. Well, we certainly mentioned the fact that this guy leads the league in home runs, and now he's got one more to add to that total. Perfect swing right there in a home run to left field. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. This one skied out toward right. Henniger is there, and he has it for the out. So one down, no one aboard. And that'll bring up David Ortiz. First pitch on its way. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And it's gone! Boy, when this guy gets in a groove, he can hit him. And when he hits him, he hits him in bunches. Hit a home run in last night's game. And if they continue to pitch him on the outer part of the plate, look out. This guy's going to do some major damage. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. Oh, and that ball's absolutely crushed down the line. Forget about it. That's going to stay fair and make it back to back home runs. Oh, a little quick jump right there. He does it in a variety of different ways. That time, first pitch out of the gate, he was coming up blue. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. He swings and crushes it. Oh, my. There is no doubt about this one. And they've done it again. Back to back to back home runs. And we've seen four round trippers from these guys so far. Dan Dero, what do you make of all this? Matty V. Dero, I don't know what you think, but this is this is like crazy. Four round trippers. A swing, and there it goes. Forget about it. This is going to be back to back to back to back home runs. So a solo shot here to left center field. So his remarkable season continues as they just continue to pour it on here. What an now awesome that, moment for this team right here. That's the fourth home run in a row. There's a fight at the bat rack right now. Guys are chomping at the bit to get up at the plate. Henniger is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. The bat. Now in the box, Marwin Gonzalez. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Hey, pitchers, you better start taking notice of this guy. He better be circled on that lineup card because he's on fire. That's his second hit of the ball game right there, and I don't see him stop. Turned on down the line, and this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. The runner from first crosses the plate. I'll tell you, they're posting video game numbers here. I mean, that's their 11th run of the game, and they're showing no signs of slowing down. Just an absolute onslaught from this offense. Strike called. Now the throw down he is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. How about that for making something happen? First, he rips a double. Then on the very next pitch, he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. Drives it out to deep right center field. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Well, they don't get much bigger than that one right there. He's now tied the single season base hit record. Oh, man, what an amazing year he's had so far. Meanwhile here, the throw to third is not in time, and he's in there safely.
pulled toward right center field. Waiting on it is Henniger. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. But a big inning here is seven runs cross the plate. And so here now is Ty France. He went hitless he last Four night in a game runners. where his guys could push Let's across only hit. one score. Dahlbeck over to his left, right. and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Batting four. First pitch on its way. Jose Marmolejos stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. Goodness. 0 and 2 now. No ball. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strike out there. Yeah, and that, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Behind 0-2 now. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Mariners are... Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney with a report as we get set for the top of the third. Heidi. At the plate now is the designated hitter, David Ortiz. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the third. This is when you got to get selfish. You cannot get complacent or overconfident right here. These days don't happen often. When you got your foot on the accelerator and the entire offense is feeling pretty good, get greedy and keep getting knocks and putting pressure on the defense. Now the first pitch. Now a high fly ball headed for the corner and left. It has the distance. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. Ah, uh, man, just a hair early on that one and just. Well, hold on here. Well hit into deep left center. And I don't think this one's coming back. No siree. This one is gone. Guys, do you believe what we're seeing here today? No, With six please. home runs so now, far, this lineup is turning in a performance for the no, ages at the plate. Yeah, Matty B, this has always been known as one of the better pitchers. Ballpark. Ken Griffey didn't like to hit here. A-Rod didn't like to hit here. The only guy that seemed to like to hit at this place was Ichiro. Definitely a pitcher's ballpark. Yeah, without question, Dan. And that's why what they were able to accomplish today with such a high home run total just screams to the ball flying today. Maybe there was a jet stream going out to the gaps. I don't know. But what we saw today. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field. And this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. So we'll take one more look. And boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. At the plate now, Christian Vasquez. Now this ball's hit deep to left field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now that. Digging in, the switch hitter, Marwin Gonzalez. He scored after knocking a single in his last at bat. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. Again, a nice clean base hit, his third of the game. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Shedlong Jr. is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. Good cut fastball that time, and he's in control now. 0 and 2. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. Louis. Luis Torres oh, is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. No ball, two Looks strike. like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. 
A ball and two strikes to the Mariners catcher. So the intent of that 0 2 cutter right there isn't necessarily to get a swinging strike. If you get it, well, hey, that's great. But if you get it inside enough and he does make contact, he probably can't do anything with it anyway. So he sets him down swinging. Luis Torres becomes out number two this inning. Strike two. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Here's Mookie Betts. We discussed earlier how he was one of the league's best power bats, and he's lived up to that reputation with a blast earlier in this game. And you can just tell how confident he is in the box, hunting his pitch, not coming outside the zone or expanding it. I would expect him to put another good swing on the ball right here. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Lewis will slide over and put this one away, and that's out number one. Next to dig in, Alex Verdugo. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Into the box, David Ortiz. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Center fielder going back. And this one is gone. A home run. Aaron Fletcher gets the call to pitch here and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Standing in now, J.D. Martinez. Two home runs already to his name in this one and we'll see if he could possibly strike again. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Lifted in the air to center field. Lewis waits on it. And that's the second out of the inning. Here's Xander Bogarts now. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. First offering on its way. Now a ball ripped into deep center field. Lewis will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that will give way to the third baseman, J.P. Crawford. Strike one to start the at bat. And he fouls this one off. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. And another foul ball. Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one and two pitch, but you can see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. Dahlbeck has a play, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now, that now the first pitch. Mitch Hanniger is in for the second time now as he looks at a ball inside, one and oh. Now this pitch is swung on and popped up and this will also head toward the right side of the infield. Dahlbeck. New inning set to get underway and that'll bring up Bobby Dahlbeck. Ah uh, man he's making a lot of noise in this one. He's feeling really locked in at the plate. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gone to lead off the inning. At the plate, Christian Vasquez. Oh, and that ball's absolutely crushed down the line. Forget about it. That's going to stay fair and make it back to back home runs. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. 
trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Hit in the air out to left field. Marmolejos a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. The batter number five. Digging in next. Kike Hernandez is working on a one for three thus far. He squares it up and hits a bolt to left center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Another multi hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we the take bat. a look at the league leaders in. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts as he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. He's had a great game so far and a triple would complete the cycle. 0 1 here's the pitch. Good speed at first and good speed with a guy at the dish. It's going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder you've got to get rid of it quick. Drilled to the left side. And that gets through for a one out base hit. <laughs> Stepping in now. Alex Verdugo in there. Now the throw. In there. Not in time. He's safe at third as they pull off the double steal. Hit down the line at first. Oh, uh, this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 and 2 now. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the second run will score as well. Nice piece of hitting right there. Two seam fastball sinker. He stayed inside it. Didn't have the action the pitcher would have liked. You know, that's a sinker right there, Mark. It's intended to be down in the zone. And this better pitcher better get the ball down because he can't live up in the strike zone. And it's grounded just foul down the line. Here comes the 0-1. That's lifted the other way out to left. Marmolejos is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. That will be J.D. Martinez. Three for four so far and seeing it well in this ballgame. First pitch of the A.B. now. Ready with the 0-1. Hit sharply on the ground. And that drops in for another base hit. He's four for five now. Throw won't hey, get him. In now, Xander Bogarts. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. Throw on to first will finally retire him as the inning. Welcome back to T-Mobile Park in Seattle as we send it down to Heidi Watney. First pitch on its way. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. And he punches out another one. Make it nine for the ball game. Now batting left fielder. Jose Marmolejos will stand in for the Marmolejos. second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Cut fastball there as he manages to just foul this one away. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. The next batter will be Evan White. Two away in the inning. And again, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. 
Yeah, he's really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this. Bobby Dahlbeck steps in with his eyes on history. Take a look. Look at his work at the plate in this one as he'll shoot for his fourth homer to put himself in rare company. And that one yanked just foul. A swing and a ground ball to third. And a sliding effort there, but that ball had eyes, and the leadoff man's on base to start the inning. And the Red Sox have something going. It's a leadoff double. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five hit ball game for him here. And those don't come along every day. Into the box now, Christian Vasquez. There's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. It bangs off the scoreboard and it's gone. Yeah, it's a long season with a lot of peaks and valleys, but he's getting hot here in September. That bodes well for him and his team as things crank up in October. We'll see if he can. Big swing, and this one's launched to right field and deep. Gone! Back-to-back -back jacks on back-to-back -back pitches. You want to certainly drive home runs You're out of the ballpark, the then you better get on the gas. And that's what he did right there. That fastball was not sneaking by him. Cannon Middleton gets Middleton. the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. Into the box, Mookie Betts. Weak grounder down the line at third. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. And he needs just a triple for the cycle. So let's see if he can put one in the gap. The 0 1. Line to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. The center fielder, number 99. Boy, and they have not oh, been able to get him out. Oh, this is right. now a five hit ball game for him here. And those don't come along every day. And he puts it on the ground to second. To second for one. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. David Ortiz stands in looking for home run number three right here as you see what he's done so far in this one. First pitch on its way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Marmolejos is there. Let's see if they test it. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And he will score on the sacrifice fly. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth. And that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Smoked on the ground left side. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm a base hit. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five hit ball game for him here. And those don't come along every day. Next to hit, Xander Bogarts. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Strike taken, the throw. And he is in there. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up. Throw in time, and they stop the bleeding as the side is retired. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. The batter will be Shedlong Jr. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive, and will do it again on 0-2. Popped him up. Dahlbeck in foul ground. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Now batting. Stepping Catcher. in next, Luis, Luis Torrens struck out in his last Whoa. trip to the plate. And a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0 1. 
Now that's just a nasty cutter right there. I don't care if that's his cold zone and he doesn't handle that pitch in that well. Most hitters don't get to that. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Okay, if you're in this lineup right here, game on, boys. I know he's got power stuff, but if he's going to come middle of the plate, you better be ready to pull the trigger. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Now that is Now here's the first offering. Donnie Walton is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Good cutter there, and he's got him behind the eight ball now, 0-2. Man, this guy's real. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring up Bobby Dahlbeck. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Bouncer to the left side. That's through for a base hit, and he's putting together a monster line in this one. They just can't get him out. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox half of the inning. Boy, this guy is off to some kind of series, and he's one of the better road hitters in all of baseball. Yeah, and some guys just have a knack for lighting it up on the road, getting that good night's sleep, and finding a way to get to the yard early and work on their craft. Out. And there's one down now. One man is out in the Red Sox seventh. And into bat next, the utility man extraordinaire Marwin Gonzalez. First offering lifted the other way down the left field line. And it's a foul ball. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Chasing after it is Lewis. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. The batter of the ball. Second baseman. Hernandez. To the plate now, Kike Hernandez. Line drive to left. Marmolejos is there, and it's a very quick Let inning. Is Last half of the seventh here, and set to go is the third oh, baseman, oh, J.P. Crawford. One baseman. ball, no strikes to count. J.P. Crawford. Comes back with the cutter and one gets ball, it by one him. Strike. One and one now. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers' pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. Now here's the first offering. Kyle Lewis stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Lewis. A 25 year old. He was a first round pick back in the 2016 first year player draft. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. Now, back. First pitch on its way. Mitch Hanniger is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing in one. Hey guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super and he struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven complete. Ladies Number 16 enters from the bullpen please. to do the pitching. Now pitching Ready to begin the eighth, Number and up 16. next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. White is over and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Now with the plate is Alex Verdugo. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Turned on but it's wide of first and foul. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin to win if he's... Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. 
Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. is J.D. Martinez singled in his last at bat. First pitch coming. Here it is. Line drive to left. Marmolejos able to track it down for the third out. The Red Sox do pick up a run on the solo. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Ty France Mariners? swings and misses All there, so he's down 0 1. Fouled away. Fly ball out toward left center field. Martinez has a read on it. One down. Now batting, left fielder. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. High in the air out to center field. Verdugo waits on it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now to the plate. Here is Evan White. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. And he powers a cut fastball by him that time, and he's in charge now. Nothing in two. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. And it's fouled away. Now another 1-2. And he struck him out. So he's now through eight full innings. All set to start the ninth in this one. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Xander Bogarts. Now here's the first offering. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Left fielder looking up. Gone to lead off the inning. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. That'll bring up Bobby Dahlbeck. High in the air down the right field line. Henniger is there one away. Stepping up is Christian Vasquez, and he'll be trying to replicate that home run swing that he took back in inning number six. Drilled on the ground is short. And there's out number two. So now a guy making a lot of noise in this one. Marwin Gonzalez has got his sights set on a five hit ball game here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Had him fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. Walton is there and the side is retired. Red Sox get a run on the solo shot by the. Now to the plate, Shed Long Jr. starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count. At least for their own stats, you can't mill in your chances as a professional. Fouled off. Ready with another two strike offering. And he struck him out for route number one. So now just two outs away from the no no. Pitch the on the way. The catcher. Lifted down the line in left. But this will wind up being a foul ball. And he fouls this one off. Fouled away. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0 2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Ready with another two strike offering. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking him up. First pitch now coming. Here it is. Donnie Walton is at the plate now. He's quickly behind 0 and 1. That pitch was so slow it barely registered on the radar gun. 
Yeah, Matt, we don't see too many pitches crawling to the plate like that, especially these days. That can be a really tough pitch for a hitter to wait back on. And it's fouled away. Last chance for the Mariners. Swing and a miss, and he's got it. A no-hitter. Well, it's something that every pitcher who's ever picked up a baseball dreams about, and he's done it. A no-hit gem in one of the most dominant performances I've seen in a while. He's in the record books forever now.